Hello, my name is Tony Nichols and I am the Federal Programs Director for Nicholas County Schools and I'd like to welcome you to some of our uh, learning sessions that we're going to be doing. Uh, we have several of our finest teachers in the county that are, have volunteered to do some reading and some math lessons especially. Um, we'd like to thank SCTV for um, broadcasting these sessions. Um, we're hoping to continue them over the summer as well. And we are hopeful that this is gonna be a, a big help to those uh, students that we have that, that don't have a whole lot of uh, network access. Um, these sessions will be broadcast uh, through Chantel, so we'd like to also thank them for their, their help and support. Um, for those who don't have Chantel service, uh, you can check the SCTV uh, website and Facebook page and they'll be running these sessions as well. So we hope that these will be helpful for our students and help us continue to um, show progress and achievement for our students. Hi boys and girls, um, I'm Mrs. Dennison and I teach kindergarten at Panther Creek Elementary and I'm here today, we're going to do some more fairy tales and STEM activities with our fairy tales. So today, we're going to do one fairy tale that's one of my favorites, Jack and the Beanstalk. So are you ready? I'm going to tell you this story, read you this story, and then we're going to think about it a little bit differently. Okay, Jack and the Beanstalk. One day, Mother sent Jack to sell the cow. Jack met a man and sold him the cow, and the man gave Jack five magic beans. Mother got so mad when Jack showed up with those beans. She needed the money to buy food. Mother just threw those beans right out the window. Jack ran to his room and he cried all night long. The next day, Jack woke up and he looked out his window and he saw a tall beanstalk. Jack ran out to the beanstalk as fast as he could, and he looked, and it went way, way up into the sky. So Jack decided he was going to climb that beanstalk, and that's exactly what he did. He climbed up the beanstalk, and you know what? When he got to the top of that beanstalk, he saw a castle. Well, Jack's curiosity got the best of him, and he went in the castle, and he looked all around. Then he saw a basket, and it was full of golden eggs. Then Jack saw a goose. It was the goose that had laid all of those golden eggs. Uh-oh, just then a giant came in, and he saw Jack, and he roared, fee fi fo fum I'm going to eat you, little one. Jack was scared, but he moved fast. He grabbed the goose and the basket, and down the beanstalk he went. At the bottom, Jack quickly had his mom bring him an axe, and he chopped down the beanstalk. And now the giant had no way to get Jack. Jack showed the mother, his mother, the goose and the eggs, and she danced with joy. The goose would make them rich. Mother and Jack would never have to go hungry again. All right, so let's think about this story a little bit differently. So, Jack has to climb down that beanstalk, so that's going to take a while. So we're going to figure out how we can get Jack down the beanstalk quicker, so he doesn't have to worry about the giant getting him. So we're going to make, today we're going to make a zip line. Have you all heard of a zip line? You might have seen them on TV. Well, that's what we're going to make today. So we're going to need an empty toilet paper roll and a container. Uh, just a little plastic container or a chip container. Some of you guys have these Pringle containers at home. So what you're going to do first is you're going to have to poke a hole in the sides of your container. So you can use, if you have a hole punch, you can use a hole punch or maybe a, some scissors. Hole punch works wonderfully though, but you could use scissors too. Just be careful so that you don't cut yourself. Okay, so after you poke your holes, two holes in the side, you're going to get some string and put it in here and tie it on each side. This is going to be the basket for Jack 
or the goose or whatever you want to put in it to come down your zip line. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how this works. So you've got, you've got your basket here and then you're going to get some, some string. It can be yarn, it can be rope, whatever works for you. And you're going to put this through your, whoops, put it through your toilet paper roll. Okay, like that. And then we're going to take the basket and we're going to tape it on the end of our toilet paper roll. Because you don't want to fall out when you're going down, down the zip line. All right, so here's what you've got when it's all said and done. All right, so it should look like this. You've got your basket, you've got your toilet paper roll, and when I hold it up, okay? So you gotta start with someplace high and go down the same place low. So now we're gonna show you the finished product. So I've made one, and I didn't have a golden goose, but I did have a brown chicken. So we put the brown chicken inside the basket because this is like the golden goose in the story. And then we're going to see if we can get down the beanstalk faster than we could if we climbed down. So I'm going to take this string and I'm going to tape it. I'm going to make the string tight though, okay? Oops. Okay, so let's see. I already saw part of it. But here he goes. Are you ready? One, two, three. It worked. So that is one way that Jack can get down that beanstalk without having to worry about the giant getting him before he makes it to the bottom. All right, well, that was fun. So I want you guys to try to make one. And you could experiment with different things. And if you make one, have your moms and dads post it on Facebook or just um, show someone how fun it was and just have a great time with it. And I'll see you back tomorrow with some more fairy tales and STEM activities. Have a great evening and be safe. Bye.